Hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. My beautiful liquid loves. I know it's been a little bit since y'all seen me. To my new subscribers, welcome. Hope you enjoy it here. To my older subscribers, welcome back. I, <laughs> I tell you, I, um, some things have been going on with my divorce and other things, you know, like little things. And, um, I've been overeating. I've been snacking a lot. You probably can tell in my face. I don't know if, is it just the camera that's making my face look like this or is it, I think it's the camera and I have my hair down. That's what I think. Um, I have been overeating. I know that that is true. Um, uh, <laughs> you know, I've been talking to my lawyer, you know, even though my husband did sign a divorce decree and, um, I'm getting my divorce settlement from his pension. So this has been going on for about two months. I did a video of, of you know, me signing my divorce decree. He signed it and everything. And my lawyer said that since then, I think it's been like a couple of months ago. My lawyer said that since then he has been difficult and he changed his number. I didn't have his new number. I asked my lawyer for his number and my lawyer, you know, was saying that it wasn't in, <clears throat> it wasn't good that he gives out his number. And I, I understood that, you know, because, you know, it's my lawyer. It's not my soon to be ex-husband's lawyer. It's my lawyer. So, um, I have a, what do I have here? I don't know. Hurts. Um, so... I've been trying to find out what was the holdup with me receiving my divorce settlement money. This has been going on for two or maybe close to three months of this back and forth between my lawyer and my husband. And my lawyer was thinking that my husband was being difficult, but since the like 11 maybe 12 years that me and him have been separated. I totally blocked out how I did everything in that relationship. He is a man child. I had my reasons for marrying him, which wasn't the right reasons. I did it because I wanted to get away from my mother. Okay. Now I did love him. I did. But marriage, you know, is something else, you know? Oh, I thought I loved him. Um, it's about to get hot in here. I was okay until I started talking. So, I owned up to it, that I married him for the wrong reasons. Like I said, he is a man child. He, the whole problem was, it wasn't that he was trying to be difficult. He was asking my lawyer to write a letter for him for the people at his pension uh, place that his pension, you know, the people that take care of his pension to speak to my lawyer. 
it had to be a written letter from my husband notarizing everything saying that they, the pension people, can speak to my lawyer about the settlement. That was the big holdup. He was holding up his money and he was holding up my money. And all why? Because he didn't know how to word the letter. Because my lawyer finally gave him, gave me his number and I text him and I was like, why are you being so difficult? Why? I said, if my, if this goes to court, I'm asking for more money from your, from your retirement, your pension. I'm asking for more money. The money that you agreed to give me is going to be so much more. I'm going to take all of your retirement. I'm going to take all of your 401k. I'm going to take it all because I'm going to sue you for breach of contract, which was a divorce settlement, agreeing that you was going to pay me a certain amount from your pension. Um, and I'm suing you for emotional distress because I do have anxiety and I do suffer from some depression. So I'm going to sue you for emotional distress. You will be sued for breach of contract. And once again, my lawyer is going to take just about all of your money. Because, and you're going to pay for my court fees as well as yours. And you have to hire a lawyer. So... You choose. Give me an amount that you agreed or we go to court and I take you for everything. He washed up then. Because I told him, I said, you forcing me, you forcing my hand. You're forcing me to do something to you that I really don't want to do to you. And I said, if I get evicted from this apartment, that's going to be on you as well. I'm going to sue you for that as well. So you will have no pension, you will have no 401k, you will have nothing because it will all come to me. That got his attention. And come to find out, like I said, he didn't know how to word the letter, so he didn't write the letter. So I told him, I said, he told me, he said, I asked your lawyer to um, write out the letter and I'll sign it. Baby, that's not your lawyer, it's mine. Why would you, we can't share a divorce lawyer, honey. You know, and it all came back to me. It's amazing how I blocked this out of my my mind because I wanted him to disappear. I wanted everything that happened in that marriage to disappear. So I blocked everything. I totally forgot how I took charge in that marriage. I took care of everything in that marriage. I was the boss in that marriage. I handled everything. I took care of everything in that marriage. And it all came crashing back to me. Because I told him, you know what? I'll write the letter to your pension people and you just sign it. That's all. I'll write the letter. He gave the impression to my lawyer that he was being difficult because he was too proud to say he didn't know how to word the letter. I told him that it doesn't have to, the letter doesn't have to be some long, drawn out, perfect grammar um, business letter. Just write a few lines. All you have to do is say to your pension people, I, your name, authorize, name of my lawyer um, to 
to speak with them. That's basically what it was. My husband had to write up a letter authorizing the piss pension people to speak to my lawyer regarding the settlement. I wrote out the letter and all he did was sign it. So he had to come over here to my house and he saw the letter, he signed it. <laughs> we went and got it notarized and we faxed it over to this pension people. And it wasn't even a long letter, it was just a few lines. And you know, as much as I tried not to marry my father, I married my father. When I told my lawyer this, he laughed so hard. And when I told him that I tried not to marry my father, but I ended up doing it, he said, well, I ended up marrying my father too. <laughs> I guess his wife is just like his father. You know, sometimes no matter what you do, you end up marrying a parent. And I tried to avoid that. My father had his faults, but he was in our lives. He still is, but I had to cut that. That's toxic. That's another story. <laughs> but... That's all that had to have been done was, was just. Y'all see that dark spot on my lip? That's from that, that pimple I had here. It left a dark mark. And like I said, it ain't, ain't no cold sore. It ain't because it's not on the rim of my lip. It ain't herpes. It ain't herpes simplex one, two, nor three. Okay. It's just a pimple that that's um that uh, appeared on my lip one morning. So it's it's gone now. I just left the dark mark. It'll lighten up in a few weeks. It'll lighten up. But it's gone. It didn't hurt. It didn't itch. It, it was just there. Um, I just hate the way it looks. I got a mirror over here. I just hate the way it looks. But... So on top of all of this... Um, you know, I got the con ed turned over to my name forcibly, but yeah, it happened. Um, and then I get a little notice in the mail saying that, what this ship said, what did it say? <laughs> there is a final balance of $1,010.99 on your former account. We have transferred this balance to your current account. Payments made on your former account will be applied to your current account. I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? So I call them. And I'm like, what is this? Now, this happened. This was when me and him, the apartment that me and him had together. And when we broke up, that like, he didn't tell me that he had stopped paying the bills. <laughs> you see that? He didn't even. He didn't even get. Yo, he didn't even give me a heads up. He didn't even give me a heads up that he stopped paying the the bills, the rent, all of that. He didn't even tell me. He didn't even tell me. And here I'm thinking that everything is okay. End up getting kicked out because <laughs> I couldn't pay in the rears. Oh my God! Excuse me, I gotta blow my nose. Okay, so the light bill over there, the balance of light bill over there was $1,010.99. But I had filed for bankruptcy, bankruptcy because of him. My credit score was 800, y'all. And I had to file for bankruptcy because of him. Yep. And I was... I was looking to buy an, 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 an apartment. I was looking to take out a loan and buy an apartment. And then boom, I had to file for bankruptcy. 
So the guy is searching around, searching around, searching around. I said, listen, the Carnet guy, I said, listen, that was about 12 years ago, sir. I filed for bankruptcy about two and a half, three years ago. I said, if you all didn't put it on my credit report, that's on you. But you cannot come for me for a bill that I have filed bankruptcy. We was on the phone for like a half an hour, 45 minutes. He was like, you know what? I'm just going to charge it off. I said, thank you. <laughs> he said, it's been wiped away. I said, thank you. He going to get upset with me because he, he tried to say that, you know, this light bill, they weren't charging me gla a glass. They weren't charging me gas. They were just charging me the delivery of it. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said, that... Whose problem is that? That's not my problem. I said, but I still don't have to pay because that's not on me. He goes, wait, but I'm not finished. I said, well, speak, speak faster, son, because um, this is $1,000. I don't have that at the moment. So what you trying to tell me? Well, if you would just let me finish talking. I said, you ain't talking fast enough. I said, go ahead, finish. He didn't even say nothing because he didn't have nothing else to say. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, okay? I'm not some little... Dumb little chick that don't know anything, all right? Don't play with me. So that's been wiped away. But back to the man child. Honey. So we got everything done. We got it notarized. He signed it. We got it faxed over and... I had to come back and make copies. So I came back here and made copies. So he was like, oh, so your father's not there anymore? I said, no, he's not here anymore. Oh, that this place is all yours? I said, yeah. Let me backtrack some. Excuse me, y'all. Let me backtrack some. So in order to, notary, notary was, the notary public was about two, there was a lower office two blocks away from my house. And so we walk in and then we had to go fax uh, two blocks down. So we walking and stuff. And as I'm talking to him, nothing has changed. Oh, child support is kicking my ass. And, and I'm like, oh. I'm saying to myself, I'm so glad that I am away from this man. Because he has not changed at all. Same old BS. Same old BS, not taking responsibility for his actions. He is a narcissist and he will, he's living a narcissist and he will die a narcissist. He does not take responsibility for anything that he has done. Do y'all hear this noise? This don't make no damn sense. Step on their damn head. <sighs> Y'all, I'm moving, okay? I'm moving. I got no peace here. I'm, I'm, I'm moving. I'll tell you where in the next video. Also, I did make, um, I did make videos um, of me going to Michael's and um, Five Below and um, where else? Michael's Five Below, Pet Smart to see the little kitties. And hold on, guys. Just give me one second. Let me just talk. Let me try and talk over this because this dude is ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, um, I'm not going to be dealing with that much longer. And I, I'm going to have a video on that. But I did go to Michael's um, and I met someone. Um, I'm in another YouTuber there. Her name is Jill in the Kitchen. Um, and... She has a really nice channel, so go check her out, guys. Um, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, uh, Liquid Spice in Real Life. But anyway, let me get back to it. So I went to PetSmart. I went to um, uh, Michael's. I went to Five Below, which I don't know what I'm going to do with the Five Below video because it was really... I don't even think I'm going to put that, that part of the video in because um, it was really wasn't much to see there at all and the music was blasting so like it's not even worth me doing a voiceover for that so i'm gonna cut out five below um 
Oh, and I went to Home Goods. Oh. Ah, I met some people at Home Goods as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I thought it was so dry. So um that video is coming. I did that last week. That video is coming. I just have to piece it together. And my last video, I'm so sorry for that, for that my mouth wasn't matching my voice. Listen. That's from that stupid um, app. I forget what it's called. It starts with a V. The first few minutes is good. And then after that, after about three and a half, about four minutes, that's when, you know, I'm talking like I'm in a, a, a karate flick. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. That will never happen again. I'm not uploading my videos to that app ever again. Okay. Until they fix it. I mean, it's so easy. The app is so easy and I love it, but that 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 is just not cool so you you won't get that again so anyway um i got a few things i got a, i got a few things i had to make a, a return to michael's of some spray paint so um i got a i got a few things from michael's oh i got the candles from michael's you'll see i'll i'll, I'll put it in the video i'll put it in the video um and um what else I had to say? What else? What else? What else? Yeah. So anyway, the man child. So anyway, let me, let me, let me get back to that. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but I just feel a little scrambled right now. But anyway, um, so we walking down the street and he's talking about, oh yeah, you know, no, I asked him, I said, oh, so you still have your car? He's like, yeah, I got a BMW now. I said, <laughs> I said, what? A BMW? Yeah, I got a BMW now. I said, oh, okay. What you, what you, what you, he was like, yeah, I got it parked because of the insurance. I said, because you have a BMW. No, it's not because of that. I'm saying to myself, you are truly a freaking idiot. I said, you know what, Sandra, don't say nothing. Don't, don't, don't say another word. Do not say another word because he, a man that doesn't listen will always be in the dark. Y'all hear me? A man that does not listen will always be in the dark. And when I tell you this man child does not listen to anything and he has always been that way. I'm trying to tell him about my lawyer is my lawyer and not his. And he still said, yeah, but, but still he could have at least wrote the letter. Out from no, he cannot. He cannot. Hello. He cannot. I just want to, ooh, I bet if I shake him so hard that his head, his head will go back and forth and you hear rocks rattling. This dude is ridiculous, yo. And, 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 and I'm so glad that it just brought back memories of, 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 of how I used to be, like, I actually dealt with that, y'all. I dealt with that. I dealt with that. Can you believe that? I dealt with that. No wonder I, I'm, 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 I'm depressed and, and have anxiety. PTSD. I had to deal with that. So, like I said, we, I had to, we had to, um, I had to come back and make a copy. So I gave him the original copy. I kept a, uh, the, the photocopy, whatever. So he's like, yeah, so your dad, your dad is gone, huh? I said, yeah, he's gone. So we, we, we walking down the street. So he's like, oh, wow. So when I come over on this side of the, of, of town and I've been drinking, you know, because there's a lot of places, you know, I'm in West Indian community here. And there's a lot of places here, the little bars and, you know, things like that and restaurants that turn into little clubs at night. And, you know, you, who, those who know, know, you know, sorry, I got something on my those who know, know, okay? So he goes, uh, what? You in there by yourself? You ain't getting, you ain't nobody, just me and my cat. So he goes, what? Oh my gosh. Oh, so when I come over this side of town, I can, uh, uh, I can knock on your door and just knock out. I turned and looked at him. When I turned and looked at him, listen, everything got quiet. It's like, the cars in the street stopped moving. The people around me stopped walking in mid-stride. Like, 
I heard nothing. I went deaf. I turned around to him. I said, I think the fuck not. I think the fuck not. He's like, oh, you ain't gonna let me go. Hell to the motherfucking no. I will not. I will not. I will not. That just brought back memories of him coming home drunk. Maybe being out with some chick. And then next morning you roll over with a stiff one. And you want some of me? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No. I looked at him like he done lost his damn mind. Are you kidding me? Me letting you into my house to deal with the same crap that I was dealing with 12 years ago? Unhappy, fat, stress eating? Nah. To get back with you, you bum? And you took my child support is kicking your butt? You can't even drive your car? And you ain't gonna blame on the fact that you got a big old sports car and insurance companies are gonna have higher rates because you got a big old sports car? But you don't think that's the reason why your insurance is high? And how many cars you don't had? Because you can't keep a car because child support is kicking your behind. But oh, that's not why your insurance is high. So you tell me why your insurance is high. Oh, because they assholes. Everybody's an asshole. Even call my lawyer an asshole. <sighs> now they're out there smoking weed. Somebody, I think next door. I keep this on hand. Oh my God, this smells so good. The wood fragrance. Oh, it smells so good. He actually think that I am going to allow him to come into my house drunk to come sleep in my... Didn't even ask me if I'm seeing anybody. Didn't even ask me if I'm seeing anybody. You got a boyfriend, you seeing anybody? You think I can roll up in here when I'm, you know, when I'm drunk and, 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 and sleep it off and then I can leave? No, he just invited himself right on in. Oh, I can come in here when I'm, when I'm drunk and sleep it off and then go home in the morning. No, like hell, like hell. Please, if I even allow that, somebody shoot me. Can I say that on YouTube? I'm sorry, YouTube. Somebody take me out to dinner. Please, somebody upside the head. Oh, my God. Hold on. When I tell you every day the same time that damn kid is crying, that kid cries every day. Anyway. What was I saying, y'all? Oh, somebody knocked me. Now he up there jumping up and down on the doggone floor, which is my ceiling. Anyway, please somebody hit me upside the head if I even think, if I even think to actually let this man back into my life, into my house, into my bed. Ugh. Child, anyway. <laughs> I just, had to, I just had to rant. I just had to rant. I just had to rant. <sighs> so now that everything is said and done with this divorce, and um, it is on its way to being finalized, and I can get my money. <sighs> Finally. I will be leaving New York. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going yet. That'll be a different video. But I want 
to be out of here and into my new place in a new state by a certain time. I ain't saying too much because somebody watches my videos, which I'm gonna do something about that. I'm gonna do something about that. So in due time, I will tell you guys what's going on with me, where I'm going to be. So, y'all like my shirt? Happy Halloween, y'all. I should have said that first. Y'all like my shirt? My shirt says, Salem Convention for Witches. Free broom parking. Potions, brews, and spells. Magic tarot crystals. My shirt. My shirt, my shirt, my shirt, my shirt, my shirt. <laughs> Ah, I have so many, um, I have so many, um, Halloween shirts. <clears throat> but anyway, let's see if I can get a thumbnail. Get a thumbnail on my, thumbnail, the <laughs> a thumbnail of my shirt. I don't know. That man has me baffled and I'm not trying to figure out anything. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I have some Halloween content coming up. Um, I have to go to at home and I have to go back to Michael's. Um, to see if they have anything else on sale. If it's if it's worth filming, then I will uh, I will film it. Um, if not, then I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna film it. Um, damn. So thanks for sticking with me. Just bear with me, guys. Hang in there with me, please. Comment, like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you in my next one. Okay. Bye. And I'm 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 being strong. Okay, I am. I'm I'm very proud of myself because a few years ago. I would have been crumbled, okay? A shell of a person. Thanks to my therapist. Thanks to my best friend. Hey, girl. <laughs> and, you know, I am what I am. Here, 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 I, here I am, you know? And things, things will get better soon really 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 soon and i'm so grateful for everything i'm so happy that i was reminded of how this man is and even if i wasn't i still did not want to get back with him because that is dead and gone and it is and when i say it's dead i'm talking kick a dead horse dead it's like many 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 years ago so anyway, enough about that. I just wanted to come in and just talk to you guys because it does make me feel better to talk um, to you all. Um, things are going to get much better for me. I see it in the horizon. I, I, I know it will. So, and you guys are going to be right there with me to see me go from this to something else. You, um, you're, you're, you're coming with me. You're coming with me. And I'm so grateful for the good and the bad that has happened in my life. Grateful for the good. Because it's good, you know. And it's great. And I'm thankful for that. And grateful for the bad because it taught me a lesson. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from your bad, you know, move on. Find a place within yourself to, to 
to find happiness and move on because that's that's where it really counts within you. Stop trying to make other people happy. Make yourself happy. When you make yourself happy, all of that comes out to everyone else. So you come first. You come first. I didn't know how to do that. But I know now. I know now. So, once again, this is my third time saying <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. But I'll talk to y'all later, okay? I love you, my liquid loves. Bye.